What's up everyone? This is Joshua from East West Healing. Today I want to talk about magnesium's role in supporting estrogen dominance, or I should say estrogen detoxification, right? Why focus on the fear part? Because it supports estrogen detoxification. But before we jump in, as always, please like this video, show us a little support, hit that notification button and subscription button to show us a little more support. So every single Wednesday when we put out a video, you get notified. Let's jump in. Now this whole thing about estrogen dominance, right? We're talking about just detoxification, but we have to go there, right? Because in our industry and in our society and YouTube, social media has been blown out of proportion. Remember, information with missing information is misinformation. And I feel that 99.9999999999% of the information out there on estrogen dominance is misinformation. Because it's been, it's been blown up into this thing where every symptom is estrogen dominance. Every problem is estrogen dominance and you're super saturated in estrogen. It's misinformation because if you go back and you study the originator, the inventor, the guy who coined the term estrogen dominance, Dr. John Lee, MD, he says, or he said that estrogen dominance is you can have higher estrogen, normal estrogen or lower estrogen. You just don't have enough progesterone to counterbalance that and balance it out. That's what estrogen dominance. It's not this super saturation of estrogen in the body. You don't have enough progesterone to balance it out, which essentially is like a luteal fail. It's that simple. So information with missing information is misinformation. Now remember this, that methylation itself supports the detoxification of estrogen and the recirculation of it. But what is methylation dependent on? It's a copper dependent process. We need retinol, we need copper from our foods to support methylation. Well, a lot of people don't eat retinol rich foods. They don't eat enough fatty fish. They don't eat enough shellfish and organ meats, right? And, and to get these copper rich foods too, same thing. Most people eat eggs and chicken or just chicken or we're not eating enough. Plus we're taking synthetic supplements like iron and D and A and zinc. We're taking medications. We're eating foods with glyphosate and GMO foods and high fructose corn syrup. All these things blow up copper metabolism. So now we can't methylate. Maybe this is why we're seeing people with maybe estrogen circulation issues, not actually an estrogen dominant issue itself, right? That ratio of estrogen to progesterone is thrown off. But if you really research it too, the symptoms of estrogen whether the low or high, the symptoms are exactly the same. And if anything, having low estrogen, the symptoms are 10 times worse than having high estrogen, right? So we have to really look at this, take a step back and remember information with missing information is misinformation. But we are here to talk about normal physiology and detoxification in liver and how magnesium plays a role, right? Now I wanna preface it with this first before we get to this piece is, we don't recommend just going by to magnesium, like just go buy magnesium supplements because you always want to eat the food first. You want to make sure you're getting mag magnesium in your foods. I mean, you can eat organ meats and get magnesium, right? So you want to eat foods with magnesium first. You want to create a foundation to support your physiology, right? That's the first thing you want to do because now you're supporting how the body works. You're supporting the systems. You're supporting methylation. That is step number one. Step two, if you want to add a little bit more magnesium to your diet, once that foundation is set, you can use trace mineral drops, which we have a YouTube on, right? You can find a link in the description to actually purchasing them from a company. Um, you could put a few drops in your water every day. It's a great, it's basically like seawater. It's a great way to get a little bit more magnesium, some sodium, but some potassium, right? Step three, or two in there as well would be taking magnesium baths if you like to take baths with Epsom salts, right? Step three would be, yes, you can gravitate towards using magnesium supplements, but we always make sure the food is there first, they're using their mineral drops, and they're doing the HTMA to make sure their sodium potassium levels are actually normal, because so many people are super low from chronic stress, intake of excess vitamin D supplements, depleting renal potassium and liver retinol, because if those levels are low and you start pumping in the supplements, you can actually overstimulate the adrenals because you flip the ratio of sodium to magnesium, etc. So you always want to make sure that food, you know, foundation there is first. You've altered your life. You decreased your stress. You're managing it. You're bringing in the mineral drops and then maybe three to five months down the line, you add in your supplements. For us, the magnesium we like, yes, we understand everyone loves magnesium bicarbonate. We are more magnesium glycinate people and can cross the blood brain barrier and get in the plasma, get in your cell. It's more relaxing to the gut. 
support sleep. There's so many benefits. Um, and yes, a lot of magnesiums like malate, glycinate, bicarbonate, they're kind of very similar. We don't use any other ones though, but glycinate is our favorite. We always say start slow, start with 100 to 200 milligrams and go from there and see where you end up, right? Because some people need a little bit more. Some people don't need that much, but it can be supportive once that nutritional foundation is there. But Magnesium plays a role in phase detoxification because it's an enzyme. This is where it comes into play. It's called the COMT enzyme. And this enzyme basically neutralizes estrogen and breaks it down to make it water soluble so we can eliminate it in a urine and feces. It's that simple. Now the COMT enzyme has many cofactors. Magnesium is one of them that supports the function of this enzyme the many functions of this enzyme, one of them being neutralizing estrogen through normal detoxification so we can eliminate it in our urine and eliminate it in our feces. Because when we detoxify estrogen, we actually save some and we eliminate some, right? So this is normal. So magnesium can support that, right? But the foundation has to be there. So we're actually, methylation is supported with retinol rich foods, et cetera, de-stress, copper rich foods. It's working properly. We're getting food for magnesium, mineral drops, and over time we can add in the supplement to support what's already working. Another way is through beta glucuronidase. This is produced in the gut microbiome. And the higher the glucuronidase is, it's been shown that you're gonna have more higher or you, you're gonna have issues recirculating, or I should say, you will have issues detoxifying estrogen and you're going to have issues with recirculation of estrogen. Because what beta-glucuronidase does is it breaks up estrogen from the feces in a sense, right? And it pushes it back into the system. So it's been shown that when we have normal or higher levels of magnesium, it drops beta-glucuronidase down, which means we can't break the estrogen from our feces. We can eliminate it. This is the simple sense of it. So it allows us or it prevents when the magnesium is here and the glucuronidase is here, right? It kind of controls it so we don't get that recirculation into the system or call it reabsorption. It prevents that, it neutralizes it, and we don't get that breakup in the stool itself. So as you can see, magnesium has many benefits in the system. And I've talked about this in many videos. It regulates over 300 enzymatic reactions in the body. And one of the most important one is you can produce energy ATP, but if you don't have magnesium to hold on to that ATP, ATP is energy, it's rendered useless, right? So magnesium is a very important mineral that we need to help with stress, enzymatic reactions, detoxification, and energy production. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support as always. I'm out.